getting to an interesting place with this uh, King of the Dead sword. And so I thought I would just run through that quickly. I um, have very, very poor reference for this. Well, one great picture, but it's only from front. So yeah, it was a real struggle to read this. At first, <laughs> embarrassingly, I had six sides. <laughs> I didn't even read the octagonal shape properly. It was so confusing. Anyway, embarrassingly, that's... Uh, I should never have said that, but anyway, I've got my proper eight sides and uh, roughly the right uh, positions and then this incredible texture is going to be an important part of it um, so uh, there's a very interesting very fine guard on this one but um, I'm concentrating on this pommel tonight and I'll just show you um, some of the stages I went through so <clears throat> trying to get the position and the depth of this um, sort of uh, jewel jewelry shaped this cut stone kind of effect so yeah I get my I get my positions yeah and then I start putting some texture into it but then I'm concerned about controlling the shape with this octagonal kind of bevel so I want to introduce some um, booleans I start putting booleans on the surface and then I get this instead. <clears throat> well, to be fair, there's some carving. I've done some carving in here as well. So that's the stage we're at. Um, and I do have two unique sides. And of course, this is too flat. I mean, this is too smooth uh, at the moment but it's nice and I think it's very akin to the original it's it's such a hard thing to to tackle but I've I've tried to get you know some of the actual form <coughs> you see this uh, <coughs> this deep recess in the middle I've kind of worked that out a bit and I could continue to I could continue that way um, take out some more stuff around because there's actually there's some quite harsh the whole point of this is the, is the extreme extreme texture But the trouble is, if I uh, if I start doing that without the the benefit of that um, somehow the the boolean thing helps to control everything and and just it gives you these uh, surfaces to work off of these edges to to work away from. Uh, I don't have those. Everything could be very destructive. I could, uh, I could just take all that away, you know. But I probably should take quite a lot of it away. In reality, it's, <coughs> it's, um, it's pretty rough overall. This is still too too pure it's it's got to get some serious roughness still got this kind of diamond uh, effect 
but um, you get the idea. This is where I'm at with the King of the Dead uh, pommel before I was so rudely interrupted. So uh, with a bit of ambient occlusion, I can see this tasty kind of uh, texture. Nice. So, yeah, I want to introduce some disruption to these flat surfaces. The whole thing is much more chaotic than, than this. And there's a pin at the top, so some kind of thing at the top. Um, that will come later. But let me think. Um, if I want to do something, I'll mask the uh, cavities. Oh yeah. But that of course not that large area is not protected. But uh, let me see. That's quite good. And then I could um, get some noise on the rest of it. But I don't want this to go too great. Oops. Always do that. I want to preserve. I want to preserve some of this. Um, some more of that kind of stuff. The the flatter. The parts that have been removed, but you know, are actually flat. This could do with a bit more. Sculpting back here. Um, but I can do that later. Yeah, that's just going to be messy. Don't get too. Okay. Um, I'm close to completion on the King of the Dead sword. I've done a good pommel um, and handle. And I'm just coming to the guard. I've got some good texture on this pommel. It's still a bit flat in the faces, but I like the the carving out that I've got there. Particularly this side is is pretty accurate as well. And so then I've worked on the handle. This is very strange. It's got some kind of uh, thin, scrappy leather, which has got poked through these holes. So I've left the holes for that purpose, and um, well, I've created the holes for that purpose. And now we come to the guard. Uh, so this is quite tricky, but it's a, a thin kind of shape, similar to the Citadel business. But um, I've noticed, I feel there's a, a very shallow kind of um, cutaway here. If I remove that, um, you see that's flat. That's a flat guard. But it doesn't feel quite right. It needs to come down a touch like this. And then I've got these two weird, weird shapes. They look like this. Well, the other one shouldn't cut in. There we are. I've got these two weird bulges, which I pulled back. Um, so it's one, it's the, the one side, it's the front side so far. I'll just double that up and uh, I think we're getting close. You see it, it feels too thick at the end here but that's because it's not been... well, yeah. The question is does it uh, get thinner towards the end? And I've seen a reference that shows maybe not necessarily. 
but in the front view it's a very fine guard a generous but fine guard so uh, yeah I think I should just go ahead and do those I'm just gonna do them manually so let me see let's try them both together well first of all this front one um, let me just see down the mesh Try that. Sorry, there's a lot of flights going overhead today. I'm not far from Heathrow. Thankfully, not that close either. You see those places where it feels like it's landing in the garden. Okay. Um, that's tasty. Now, can I merge these and get one piece? Sometimes it behaves a bit strangely if, if you've had a boolean on before. Yeah, see, it doesn't like it. All right, I'll just do them independently. Um, duplicate mirror uh, Dynamesh <clears throat> Okay Let's see Jolly good. And the same for you. Tiny mesh. Not so high. All right, well, never mind. Yeah, then just the blade to go. I haven't really looked at that properly. But um, I'm feeling more confident with my blades. Well, I've got a thing in the middle there, but I can just cut that out. Right, now these things have to go. As well. You could say, why don't you just do a Boolean mesh? Um, but they can be a bit uncontrollable. I mean, they can get a bit, it becomes a bit risky. So I'm just gonna do this. All right, now, what's going on here? can just cut that away cut that away and then reverse the whole thing in the Z yes in the Z lovely Merge down. And there we have it. Right, we've got some strange business inside there, but I'm sure that's easily sorted. 
Um, so if we get a Dynamesh and find out. Okay, uh, just a quick tidy up in the symmetry. Whoa, careful with your edges. All right, this gets um, this gets the sword treatment anyway. I mean, those faces are going to be. Oh, it's very hollow in there. That is nasty. Just uh, tidy that up a bit. Okay. Um, looking good. We have our guard. Is it going to be, are there any further adjustments required? I'm not sure. That might be it. What about the blade? Shall we have a look? on this thing and I think it's done so I've got a rust um, off the old internet just something to break up this surface and get some kind of flakiness always make sure turn off back face Turn on back face mask and have a low intensity. Turn off symmetry. Watch the edges as well, they tend to get a bit wrecked. And pulling out a long distance. Okay. I quite like that. Maybe just go in with a little uh, flattening. Because this is a bit too production line kind of effect. And this King of the Dead must have seen some action. So that's all this crap we're gonna get. Can't have bad polys here. Come on now. Gonna get it's gotta look a bit used. 
can't be perfect. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I, I should have not really... I should have taken care of this... Um, this kind of uh, edge is just too perfect. But it is, it is a sharp looking thing. So um, I'm on the right track, but I just don't, I don't want that line to, to overhang there the way it does. Okay. If I do a quick quick smooth before do a smooth before I uh, attack it. Certainly seems to help. We got some nasty geometry here. Nasty, nasty. Get rid of that. Okay. It's nice. I don't want to see that line there. Please. That's the line of a factory production. These things handmade by evil men. Okay, yeah, I should be getting chills about this. It's pretty, um, pretty intense. The old King of the Dead. So um, I hope it's suitably terrifying. Obviously, that's a bit, a bit sticking out there. <clears throat> Hello, handle, blade, Go away. Right. Um, I think that's it. guard just give it another look at the texture okay um that might be it King of the Guard sword. Strange, strange things.